this is a very basic shield. Um, it's basically designed, it's just pin pinouts, pretty much. There's only two, three resistors on it, and the rest is pins. The reasoning behind this board is uh, I wanted to have all of my, like a bunch of digital outs and ins, and uh, also be able to hook up I2C devices and one-wire devices. Um, so what happens here is we have uh, four I2C hookups, and what I'm using it for is a, one for a keypad, so I have three left should I need them. I also have a one wire, there's actually two, there's one here and one here. So that gives you four one wire inputs. Um, so that allows you, I'm actually using it for temperature, the DS1B820 uh, temperature sensor is what I'm going to be hooking up to it. And you'll see this jumper right here um, allows you to choose which of the pin 2, 3, or 4. It allows you to choose which pin you want the one wire um, inputs to go to. So it allows you a little flexibility. If you need, you know, pin 2, you can put it on pin 3, uh, etc., etc. We have pins, what, 13 to 5? 5 to 13, right here. All I know is that there's 10. I don't remember which pins exactly, but these are all your digital PWM pens, pins. This right here may get removed in future versions. It's a SPI interface, so you could just plug in an SPI device. And, well, you can plug in two, and uh, if you'll notice, we have here choose which pin the SPI, um, shoot, which pin the SPI device is on, the chip select one, so you can have the two. This pin is uh, RX and TX, because I may end up adding not a Bluetooth shield, but a Bluetooth, um, what are they called, like the breakout boards from SparkFun, and just RX and TX for that. So basically it's a shield which will allow me to hook up stuff um, very easily so I don't need breadboards and, and stuff. So again schematics and things will be up on the site shortly. Uh, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions uh, please feel free to leave them.